step back to 1943, a year when the silver screen bore witness to the compelling drama of Watch on the Rhine. This film, directed by Herman Shumlin, unfolds a gripping tale set against the backdrop of World War II. What makes this classic stand out? Well, keep watching because there's a treasure trove of funny, shocking, and heart-wrenching facts waiting to be unveiled. As you dive into this cinematic gem, consider if you have a cherished memory associated with the characters and events that unfold. Did the story resonate with your own experiences or perhaps transport you to a different time and place? It's fascinating how movies can etch themselves into our memories. What enduring qualities make Watch on the Rhine an everlasting symbol of the industry? Is it the powerful performances, the wartime narrative, or the timeless themes that still resonate today? This film has left an indelible mark on cinema, and exploring its lasting impact is a journey worth taking. Now we're turning the spotlight to you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic? We'd love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. Share your thoughts and connect with fellow fans who, like you, have been captivated by the magic of Watch on the Rhine. So stay tuned for more intriguing insights and don't forget to share your own tales. Let the conversation begin and let the memories flow. Watch on the Rhine, a cinematic masterpiece from 1943 directed by Herman Shumlin, continues to exert a profound influence on the cinematic landscape, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Its enduring impact can be attributed to a combination of compelling factors that resonate with audiences even today. The film's narrative, set against the backdrop of World War II, unfolds a gripping tale that transcends its temporal setting. The wartime drama explores themes of sacrifice, courage, and the human cost of conflict, striking a chord with viewers across generations. The characters, portrayed with powerful performances, become vessels through which the audience can connect with the universal struggles and triumphs of the human experience. This classic stands as a testament to the timeless nature of its themes, addressing issues that remain relevant in contemporary society. The exploration of morality, loyalty, and the consequences of ideological conflicts mirrors the complexities of the human condition. In a world still grappling with similar challenges, its resonance endures, providing a lens through which viewers can reflect on the broader implications of their choices and beliefs. The movie's legacy is further enriched by its ability to evoke a range of emotions from moments of levity to scenes of profound poignancy. The carefully crafted storytelling, coupled with memorable characters, ensures that it is not merely a piece of historical cinema, but a living, breathing narrative that continues to captivate audiences. As one reflects on this classic, consider the impact it had on you personally. Did it elicit a range of emotions? Did it prompt contemplation on the human experience and the choices we make in challenging times? The enduring qualities lie not only in its historical context, but also in its ability to transcend time and connect with the universal threads of the human story. In conclusion, this cinematic gem has stood the test of time, offering a poignant exploration of the human spirit amidst the tumult of war. Its legacy is not confined to a specific era, but continues to be woven into the fabric of our shared cultural consciousness. Amidst the historical tapestry of the 1950s, Watch on the Rhine emerges as a cinematic gem that retains its relevance, weaving a narrative against the backdrop of World War II. The era, marked by post-war reflections and the onset of the Cold War, significantly influenced the themes and content of the film. In that decade, the scars of war lingered, shaping societies globally. Born in the crucible of the 1940s, the movie resonated with the prevailing sentiments of its time. The aftermath of conflict prompted introspection on sacrifice, courage, and the consequences of ideological clashes. The exploration of morality and loyalty became a mirror reflecting the complexities of human existence in a world grappling with uncertainty. The characters, portrayed with compelling performances, transcended their temporal setting. They became vessels through which audiences in the 1950s and beyond could connect with universal struggles. The enduring impact lies not merely in its historical context, but in its ability to transcend time, becoming a living narrative that resonates with the human experience. In that era, as the world faced new challenges in the Cold War era, the film provided a lens through which viewers contemplated broader implications. The narrative's ability to evoke a range of emotions, from moments of levity to profound poignancy, allowed it to maintain relevance amidst evolving societal landscapes. As one reflects on this cinematic masterpiece, 
it becomes clear that its legacy is not confined to a specific era. Instead, it intertwines with the fabric of our shared cultural consciousness, offering a poignant exploration of the human spirit amidst the tumult of war. The ability to prompt contemplation on the choices we make in challenging times ensures its place as a timeless classic. In the original stage play of Watch on the Rhine, Anne Blythe took on the role of Babette, the daughter character. The play, crafted by Lillian Hellman, premiered at the Martin Beck Theater in New York City on April 1, 1941, and concluded its successful run on February 21, 1942, after 378 performances. Notably, key cast members such as Paul Lucas, Lucille Watson, George Coolerus, Eric Roberts, and Frank L. Wilson reprised their roles in the subsequent film adaptation. Mady Christians portrayed Sarah Muller, and Helen Trenholm played Marth de Brankovis in the original play. Jack L. Warner, recognizing the play's Broadway success, acquired the rights for $150,000. His confidence in the material stemmed from the belief that the film's patriotic themes would resonate well with audiences during the wartime backdrop. This financial commitment underlines Warner's anticipation of the film's potential impact. The stage-to-screen transition retained the core ensemble, ensuring continuity and authenticity in bringing Watch on the Rhine to the silver screen. The film's resonance lies in its exploration of sacrifice, courage, and the human toll of conflict, with characters serving as vessels through which universal struggles become palpable. Warner's strategic investment in this poignant narrative reflects not just a business decision, but a belief in the power of storytelling to connect with the collective conscience of the time. In summary, Watch on the Rhine, born from a successful stage play, made a seamless transition to cinema with key cast members reprising their roles. Warner's financial backing attests to his conviction in the story's ability to resonate with wartime audiences. The film's enduring impact can be traced back to its exploration of universal themes and the commitment to authentic storytelling. In 1946, Academy Award Theater featured a 30-minute radio adaptation of the movie, with Paul Lucas reprising his role. This radio broadcast offered audiences a condensed yet impactful experience of the film's narrative. Betty Davis, despite her resistance, found herself in a supporting role due to the studio's decision. The clash between her and director Herman Shumlin, an inexperienced figure on the film set, added an extra layer of complexity to the production. Producer Hal B. Wallace had to intervene, recognizing the need to rein in Davis' performance. The struggle for top billing highlighted the studio's confidence in Betty Davis as a draw for audiences. However, behind the scenes, the dynamics between Davis and Shumlin revealed the challenges faced during the making of this wartime drama. The studio's strategic decision prevailed, emphasizing the business side of the movie industry. These behind-the-scenes conflicts added a layer of tension to the production, influencing the dynamics between the cast and crew. The power struggles, while not uncommon in the film industry, became a noteworthy aspect of the film's history. The legacy of Watch on the Rhine extends beyond the on-screen drama. The radio adaptation in 1946 provided another avenue for audiences to revisit the narrative. The studio's decision on billing, though met with resistance, underscored the business considerations that shaped the film industry. Betty Davis' clashes with the director offered a glimpse into the challenges of working on set, especially when dealing with strong personalities. This film, known for its wartime narrative, also carries a backstage story of conflicts and strategic decisions that shaped its final form.